This short video is going to talk to you about creating referral codes. Now, why would you want to create a referral code? Well, if you're a uh, national organization that is spreading word about the Give a Day, Get a Disney Day program to your member organizations, or let's say you're a volunteer center and you work with a lot of nonprofits in your area who uh, uh, work with you to recruit volunteers, you might want to become a parent organization where you can see which of your partners have opted in uh, to list their opportunities on the VOP. Uh, maybe you'll want to see how many of those partners responded. Maybe you'll want to help them perform the verifications. Maybe you just want to keep an eye on what's going on with your partners. So if you want to establish that parent-child relationship between you and your local chapters or your referral partners, um, one way to do this is by creating a referral code to give them when they sign up in the VOP. Uh, you may have noticed when you signed yourself up in the VOP and opted into the program, one of the questions was referral code if applicable. So how can you create this referral code? Well, on the main menu in the VOP, just click on create referral code. So right now I'm I'm part of, uh, I'm logged in as Larry's National Animal Organization and I want to have a referral code because we're going to send a mailing out to all the organizations under us that work with cats. So I'm just going to note uh, referral code to give to all cat shelters because I want to track those a little differently from some other referrals I've done. I just click on create referral code and voila, I now have a code, 1-O-R-7-X-7-A. And all I have to do is email that out, and when I tell all my cat organizations, hey, you can reward your volunteers by becoming part of the Give a Day, Get a Disney Day program. Uh, you send them to vop.handsonnetwork.org to sign up and uh, ask them to put that referral code in. And by doing that, you'll be able to see them as child organizations. Um, I can click on referral codes and you'll notice that I've created a, a number of different referral codes. Most people will only create one, but I've got one to give to our dog organizations and one to give to our cat shelters. I just, uh, I even have one uh, because I'm doing a staff incentive. I'm giving a prize to whoever brings the most of our uh, secondary organizations uh, in uh, to the system. So. Uh, I can actually now see if I go over here to view organization details, uh, I will see that in addition to my organization, uh, I also have good deeds for dogs. See now if I click on my organization, and here's the information about my organization, I'll see that Good Deed for Dogs is one of my child organizations, which means I know they've opted in and uh, they've been attached to me because of the referral code that I created. I can also see all the referral codes that I've created. If they created any, we'd have that as well. And notice now I can uh, see my own opportunities and when Good Deed for Dogs starts listing opportunities, I'll be able to see those as well. I can actually click on the link for Good Deed for Dogs and notice now I can see their information, I can see the users there at Good Deed for Dogs, and look, oh I can see, now I can see the opportunities that Good Deed for Dogs has listed. So this enables me as a parent organization to get a sense of what my partners are doing and uh, I can even export uh, my descendant organizations in the form of a report that will give me an Excel sheet so I can see how many of my uh, affiliates or partner organizations have opted in just by using the referral code that I created here in the VOP by clicking on Create Referral Code.